Hey guys, so anyone that knows, I'm like completely obsessed with Dior. I've seen a few influencers in Paris over the last two years wear this piece. It's almost like a poncho mixed with a scarf, mixed with a hoodie. Um, and I decided to go to their website and just look to see if they had it on there. I started scrolling. They have it listed, but there's no price. There's no details on it. I don't even know what it's called. Like, it's literally just a picture. I'll show you here. So, I decided I was going to make my own anyways and decided to take myself to Mood. I originally was going to do it in, I think the influence I saw had a black and white one. I found the navy cream. This is not plaid, but where it's just square boxes. I forget what that's called. I'll put that also in this video. The, um, I decided to go, I was like rushing because they were about to close, but I decided last minute to go with... Um, this nice plaid pattern. I just got these pants a few months ago, so I decided to go with like a brown that would work with this, but also would look really great with black. So this is the one I chose. I think it was like $27 a yard, and they were actually running out of it. So I was only able to get a yard and a half when I really wanted at least two because I knew I would be using this McCall pattern, which I've used to make anoraks before. It's McCall's 7986, but I knew I was gonna use the hood from that pattern because I have already worked with this pattern before so I decided first I put it on fold and I decided to cut out the hood first so what I was left with afterwards was less than a yard and a half so I'm going to show you kind of with a towel my original idea was basically to fold what I had left in half and kind of cut out a semicircle right here to put your head through and then attach the hood but what I was left with was not quite enough to fold over perfectly all in one piece as if it were like a scarf and then I would just kind of put my head through the hole. So instead I decided to just create a seam at the at the top there, um, which no one's going to see once I press it anyways. And I was also going to do a slanted shoulder, but I like the way this design is actually straight and because there's no support past your shoulder, it just kind of droops, which is what the models look like and I think it looks a little bit more organic that way, like it's just falling naturally but it's actually supposed to look like that. So instead, I just took two pieces that were, I believe, 30 inches wide, two pieces, um, and I stitched them across the top, and I decided to make the front a little bit shorter than the back as well, so I chopped off, where they were the same length, I chopped off probably six inches or so of the bottom of the front, and then I wanted to make sure that the hood actually fit in perfectly. So instead of just doing a whole, um, a semi-circle at the top here, instead of just doing like a basic circle and not knowing whether or not this hood pattern was actually going to fit, where the seam was at the top for the front, I actually traced out this, this marking on this pattern so that I for sure knew that it was going to fit in exactly the same. Just being mindful that the back of a piece like this, the front has like a deep cutout. As you can see here, th this number two is the front. So it has, your neck comes a lot lower in the front than in the back. So in the back, it's just like a little bit is taken out. So it's higher here. So this circle, you can even see this is much higher. So just taking out a little bit here um, compared to the front. And once I put the hoodie in, I can see now that like, or the hood in, I can see now that I think I'm actually gonna put this back in and I want these to maybe overlap but I can do that and kind of ease it into the whole seam anyways. Other than that, I really like the way it came out. The, <laughs> that was probably the hardest part, is fitting in the hood properly, which I still need to do a little bit of work on. The most tedious part is I spent hours last night pulling out, because when I finished this, it looked like this on the bottom, which looks nice, but I thought it was kind of boring. And I really did want this to look like basically like a scarf that I just put a hole in and put my head through and belted. So I decided to create like a fringe or a tassel on the bottom here. So I took my seam ripper and one by one pulled these little threads out of the bottom one by one to give it that fringe effect. And I could have added a trim, but I really wanted this to match and um, be all one uniform piece instead of having a piece underneath. So you can see this is woven pretty tightly. So some of these pieces were a to get out. So yeah, I really actually, I'm in love with the way it came out. The other thing I think I'm going to change is literally just the hood and maybe just touch this up, but I'll probably make another one of these in another color. 
And you can see here I just have a black belt on it. I don't know if I'm tall enough, but I wanted to put it on for you guys so you guys can kind of see it on a human body. Um, you can see like it has the slouchy shoulders. It's a little bit longer in the back. I have to pull it down a little bit because it wants to ride up. Obviously you have like an arch back here and your shoulders are higher in the back. So it does kind of tend to pull up a little bit. So might need to take the front up a little bit higher, but I actually like where we're at right now. So with like a nice hat, this is like a great fall look. Um, I could even do like a long sleeve underneath it, um, either in like a nude or a tan, cream, black, maybe even like, I think a black would be nice. I just love the design of it. It's gonna be great for fall, like it just turned fall, so this would be really cute. Even like if I had like a sling bag, or if I just had like a small bag I was carrying with me, I think this is gonna be great for fall. Simple belt, um, even unbelted, I think it could be kind of cool. Um, yeah, even unbelted. It's a little bit more poncho-y, but I still really like it. Yeah. So as I was pulling this piece off the mannequin and putting it on myself, I got an idea, like, because I keep talking about a scarf, I was like, oh, what if I actually fold it into twos and then one more, like, fold it into fours, long ways, and wrap it and belt it, and actually, now I can wear it three different ways. I can wear it, like, as a scarf, wrap, belted, I can wear it as a poncho without a belt, and I can also belt it, so three different ways to wear mine. Super, super happy with this piece. Love the material. Love how it came out. Need to fix the hood, but otherwise, for, you know, under 50 bucks, not too bad. So thank you, Dior, for the inspiration, and thanks for watching.